All right, here we go. Top 10 Mario games on Switch. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to be ranking the top 10 Mario games on Switch. And I'm going to rank them based on overall experience, which is the immersion, how much fun I had, and the mechanics. Any cool features, like the, whether the story mode was good, whether they had campaign co-op, multiplayer, and different types of bonuses and extras you get in the game. All right, so top 10, here we go. <laughs> Coming in at number 10, we got Mario Party Superstars. I know what you're gonna tell me, that's not a Mario game, but you know what? There's only so many Mario games and they're not all gonna be mainline Mario games on the Switch. So here we are, Mario Party Superstars. Objectively, this game is infinite fun because you can play with the computer or you can play with your friends. And if you wanna hate your friends and if you wanna throw stuff at each other, this is the game for you because you're gonna be doing that. Objectively speaking, this is some of the best mini games they've had in the whole franchise. See, this is seen by the community that way, you know, the, the, they have they have everything. They have the game that was banned in Japan that when you spin it and, and you, you're playing tug of war with Bowser, I remember that one. I wrote this script and I don't even really remember the I played the game, I promise I played the game. Honestly, tons of the best mini games ever. Um, the boards are also really cool and really fun. Definitely not no Super Mario Party where they had the weird boards and the weird rules. Nah, with this one, it's it's definitely classic Mario Party fun and you're gonna have fun and I'm gonna have fun. Only reason it's not higher up though is because it's a Mario Party game, so what, what you see is what you get. And I, I feel like in general, the experience wasn't like... <laughs> The experience was, was, you know, it is what it is. Mario Party. What's up? That's it. Like, it's not, it's not anything great. Coming in at number nine is Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I know this game just came out, but already I feel like this is one of the top Mario experiences on the Switch. I mean, fun levels. Animation is very charming. The graphics are just pretty good. More than pretty good. They also have campaign co-op. And campaign co-op, if you add it to any game, I'm always down. This is one of my favorite things. If you just let me play the story mode with another player. You know, I think that's always the best thing in any game. Traversal is very fun. You get to do a freaking handstand as Mario. You know, I mean, uh, what other what other kinds of fun can there be? There doesn't exist. <laughs> but again, what you see is what you get with this game. Coming in at number eight is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I mean, classic franchise, race your friends, do the Grand Prix mode. Have yourself some fun with that game. And honestly, like, I, I, oh my god, for a while, I like, because I only had Mario Kart 8, the Wii U, and that was like my only game, so that I got really, really good. I used to use Lakitu with the, with the freaking, uh, the Fisher Price freaking mobile thing. I haven't played in a while, so I forgot the name of it, but that was like, that was my thing, and I got so good at it. So the fact that it's on the Switch and they added 48 new tracks, it was an insane amount of tracks that they added from Mario Kart Tour and you know from the past Mario Karts. It's crazy. <laughs> but again, what you see is what you get, which is kind of what the, what 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 it boils down to with with these Mario experiences that are in like the higher parts of this list. It's just Mario Kart 8. You know, you already kind of know what to expect, and for the most part, you're just going to be playing multiplayer. Uh, I mean, people do play Grand Prix, but. Come on. Coming in at number seven is Super Mario Maker 2. And this is the best idea Nintendo has had since naming the Wii U the Wii U. In all seriousness, though, it's a brilliant concept uh, that gave the common folk, aka you and I, access to create our own 2D Mario worlds. What else could we want? I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to make their own Mario levels? It's, it's, it's very fun just getting in there in the stage editor and making your own, your own levels. You can even, there's a world editor too, so you can create like levels or you know create your own worlds and then put your levels together and then publish that out to the world even even if your creation is terrible or or, or not inspired or, or maybe you're the you made it the best you made it better than shigeru miyazaki himself i think it's just an overall good experience they, they also do have a campaign mode but it's not any crazy campaign it's just you know i got to rebuild the castle walk through a couple of different levels and you know Nintendo made levels, so they're not as good because we can make better levels than that. We got it better than that. Coming in at number six, Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury. All right, this game is one of the best games, half games. <laughs> Let's just put it that way because Super Mario 3D World, yes, it's a good game. I played it a lot on the Wii U back, back when it was on the Wii U first. I didn't really play it too much on the Switch because I mainly only just played Bowser's Fury. But that game in and of itself is already a good game if you haven't played it. But it's a port, so it's like whatever. 
Bowser's Fury. Let me tell you about Bowser's Fury. Mario Open World. Who would have thought that they would have made something like that as like a side mode in this in this package, and it came out to be so good. I mean, they the concept in and of itself is 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 something that's like a no brainer, but they just haven't done it because even Super Mario Odyssey is like they're still hot. Like the, you know you go from like one place to the next place, but it's not like oh okay I'm just gonna go over there because I see something. No. This time they did it all in one area, and then you also have Super Saiyan Mario in there, so it was a formula for success. <laughs> it has local co-op too. That's another thing I forgot about that. It has local co-op. You can even you know the second player takes control of Bowser Jr. and that was fun because I actually remember playing that with my sister. Oh my god, it's 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 lots of fun, and and it's not as cohesive. I will say that like like you know different parts. It's just like all of a sudden okay you see like blocks that are Mario esque. I'm not going to say the environment itself is like super inspired either, but they don't even have to do anything crazy. And I love it. Like they just, they just had to put Mario in there and give him the objectives and put Mario enemies and just, you know, let us roam, do, do whatever we want. And then that's, I'm hoping that for the next Mario, they, they take uh, ideas from that because that, ah, uh, Bowser's Fury 2, please. <laughs> Coming in at number five is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You wouldn't think that this game concept would work. You know, Rabbids and Mario at the same time. Mm -mm. And every reviewer, that every video I've seen always says that. Like, oh yeah, like this concept would not work. Like, what does that even mean? And here I am saying the same thing. What does that even mean? This concept would not... They could take anything. They could make... If peanut butter and jelly works and you combine them... <laughs> And then you eat it, then Mario plus Rabbids is gonna work. It, it's all just a matter of making it work. You know what I mean? It's like it's like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> just just try the game because it, it's it's insane. Oh, what, what they what they were able to do with this game. And I remember it came at a time where there wasn't that many games to play at the time. I don't even think Odyssey had come out yet. I think this was like one of the first Mario s games, even if it was an RPG. I remember when I played it, I was like, man, this is such a fun game. Because in general, like the you take XCOM, you take Mario, it's bound to be pretty good. And the mechanic, oh my god, the mechanics are, are, are solid. Playing multiplayer versus against your friends are solid. Your tactician out there just making Princess Peach bounce that thing, boy. <laughs> Not Princess Peach, rabid Princess Peach, because... Real Princess Peach? I don't know. Oh! No, but it, it is very very fun and if you're a fan of rpgs and tactical games like that this is this is your thing man highly recommend oh i also almost forgot the dlc and the dlc adds a lot more to that that's it coming in at number four super mario rpg remake a classic all right this is a classic game that got remade because that's implied in the name in a in a world where video games are 75 plus hours especially rpgs this game came in and said, hell no, I'm going to do 12 hours and that's it. And you're going to love it and love it. I did because within those 12 to 15 hours, it is a complete package and it is jam packed with an epic story, fun gameplay and the other neat features like boss rematches, what have you. <laughs> it's just, it's just insane what they were able to fit into it. And, and, and the story in and of itself is, is really fun. There's lots of epic fights. Epic, because we're in 2007. <laughs> and you know what they say, good things come in small packages. I think, yes, there might not be a multiplayer mode. The features aren't all there. <laughs> but it's just such a good game that it's going to leave an impression on you no matter what. Coming at number three is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This is a shakeup of the Mario formula, but, you know, it's still sticking to its roots, platforming, while giving us something fresh and fun. Honestly, addition of the other characters, aside from the normal Mario, Luigi, Toad 1, and Toad 2, whoo, that is, like, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Because if you've ever played newer Super Mario Bros., which is a ROM hack of new Super Mario Bros., don't arrest me, Nintendo, is one of the best games ever. Honestly, they don't even really have, so why am I even talking about that? Because they don't even really have, they didn't really, but it's a fun game. It's a fun concept. That was probably like the best game outside of Super Mario World that has come from, not Nintendo, because that was made by the community, but but in general, Super Mario, we've had all these new Super Mario Bros, and we have not had 
a proper original Mario Bros. in a while. I mean, like, you had New, New Super Mario Bros. DS, yes. But then there was what? New Super Mario Bros. Wii, New Super Mario Bros. 2, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. Carbon copies of New Super Mario Bros. DS. And honestly, New Super Mario Bros. DS had a lot more originality to it. So to finally have something that's different, different art style, different locations, like you can actually see the world map. Oh my God, it, it was exactly what the Mario universe needed. In a genre where they were basically doing the same cookie cutter bullshit for the past three games, they finally decided to switch it up. And oh, everybody's happy now. Yay! And it sells. Yay! <laughs> Coming in at number two is Super Mario Odyssey. The true follow-up to the 3D Mario formula, which is introduces the capture mechanic, and added, that adds so much to the gameplay, you don't understand. There's tons of worlds to explore, seekers to discover, items to collect. I mean, there's local co-op, even though it's limited. But, you know, you get to just be the hat. I mean, that's better than nothing. <laughs> um, but it's Super Mario Odyssey. At this point, if you don't know what Super Mario Odyssey is, if you haven't heard the hype, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> definitely the the second best experience on the on the switch and people are going to be like why is it the second best experience because i think you kind of know where this is going if you watch some of my other videos <laughs> coming in at number one is you already know you already know paper mario thousand year door remake i mean come on i know it's not out yet by the time this video comes out it's not out yet but it'll be out at some point and some people are even saying it might not even be out for the Nintendo Switch 1. I don't care. At some point, it's going to be out and it's going to rock everyone's world again because it's the greatest game of all time. And it's just, it's just the best. Like, it's just, what else could you want? It's, it's a crazy story. Good characters, like really well-written characters. A grand adventure. Luigi's in it and he's having his own adventure and you get to go up the ladder in one of the chapters in, in, a, in a UFC type ring where you go to the minor leagues, major leagues, and you become the champion. You get to solve a train mystery. <laughs> the game is crazy. And the gameplay itself is super fun. You have to get your timings right for an RPG. It's just like one of the best RPGs. And is there a lot of nostalgia that comes from this being at number one? Yes, but it's my list, and I hope they do something crazy to, to, to make it different, and I think they will. It's just a matter of, you know, what are they going to do? I'm super excited to hear more, but this is definitely going to be one of the best experiences on the Switch, bar none. Um, I mean, yeah, some would argue it could be Super Mario Odyssey or, or, or you know, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Honestly, at this point, any of the past four games could, could also take the spot of number one. But it's my video and you're just watching it because you're on YouTube. You saw my thumbnail and you thought it was good and you gave me a chance. So thank you. Which lets me segue onto my next thing, which is my outro. I'll see you guys later and please subscribe and comment and like and do all the things that are necessary for me to keep doing these videos, which is doing all that stuff. Because if you don't, then I'll cry. I will not cry. I'll probably just move on with my life, but see you around.